Okay, and um, welcome to the recording of the memo of the practice exam for the practical 2014 for CAT. Um, please excuse everything's going to be recorded live, so if any mistakes are made verbally or clicking, <laughs> I apologize in advance. And I'm going to do it section by section and release the video separately. And the first section is section A, which is systems technologies for 18 marks. And the first question asks, in your examination folder forward slash drive, creates a shortcut to Microsoft Word. So this is my examination drive here. Um, and all I would do to create a shortcut is there's multiple different ways you can uh, create a shortcut, send to desktop and copy it across to here. Or you can right click new uh, shortcut. Now to find a shortcut to Microsoft Word, um, you would need to find the location of it. Mine's a 64-bit operating system, so it's a little bit more complicated. Well, not that much. You'd go to Program Files x86, uh, Microsoft Office. Uh, we Office. Uh, I'm on Office 2013 currently, and I will have all installed. And we will then look for WinWord. Um, and WinWord is the executable that will open up Microsoft Word. Um, I'll just give it a better name, and that's done. So that is a shortcut to Word with a lovely capital O there. Anyway. Um, not that big a deal. Uh, the next question says, uh, rename doc1.docx to a more appropriate name. There are two marks awarded for this. Um, the first mark is the fact that you rename it, the second mark that it's an appropriate name. Now to determine whether it's an appropriate name or not, um, the, the people should actually open it, check what data is in there, and in this case it's troubleshooting rules. Um, so there's some basic rules on troubleshooting. So then I'd rename it. Um, Trouble shooting rules. So then it's actually got um, a logical name to it. Okay, um, the next question says uh, the file extension for app prezi.pptx so that it will be played automatically. Okay, so you would open up app prezi and you now need to file, save as, um, same location, uh, and we would want to change the file type to be a pptx. PPS, but not. Oh, where's a office? P there we go. PowerPoint show. So when you save it as a PowerPoint show, it'll now be it will play automatically. So I'll save that there in the memo folder, and done. And now if you ever click on that, it will just play directly. So if I double clicked on it, it would open up as a presentation rather than as a, um, a PowerPoint that you can edit uh, as a show. Sorry. Okay, create a text file called yourname.txt and send it as read only. So right click new, a text document, your name. <laughs> okay, just playing, too many kids do that. Okay, so you would call it your name. Alright, uh, next uh, question states uh, the following questions will be answered in complete.docx. Each made blah blah blah, yakety smackety for questions 5 to 8. Alright, so complete. Um, we open up the file, uh, sorry, it opened up on the other screen. And first it asks you to write your examination number. I don't have one, so I'm just going to fill in some random number. And uh, now, question five. How would you restore your files that you have deleted? Now, what I suggest you do when answering these type of questions, the best way is actually to um, open up your Windows Explorer or wherever you need to, go through the steps that you want to do. So first, I opened up my Windows Explorer, so I should recall that account. I would browse to my recycle bin, which should be available. So when I browse to my recycle bin, I would right click and then I would go, uh, hmm, hey, it's not in there. Okay, right click and you would select the files you'd want to restore. Okay, right click and then you would go restore. Okay, so now we would as best as possible write out those steps. Again, this is for three marks. Sorry, it's only two marks. So it's half a half a mark per per point that you need to do here. So uh, let's work it out. We'll go open up Windows Explorer. I like to uh, personally, I like a list form. Open up Windows Explorer, browse to your recycle bin. You could simply state this by going onto your desktop browse to your recycle bin, but I don't like desktop shortcuts. Um, anyway, browse to your recycle bin. Right click on file, on the file, 
you wish to restore so this is quite boring and um, then excuse me while I pause I've got a visitor and um, uh, grade 8 wrong class <laughs> um, anyway, right click uh, the file you wish to restore then select restore oh, boring oh, yeah anyway Question 6 uh, asks the question, how would you uh, find out the version of your operating system? Again, you would physically do that and then write down the steps you would. I'm going to go from real far, open Windows Explorer, comma, right click on your computer, then or start key, right click on your computer, whatever, then go to properties, Comma information on your OS will be displayed. Okay. Now, question seven states: uh, How would you perform a disk cleanup? Hmm. Okay. So now uh, there's multiple ways around of doing this. Uh, let me just pause again. Another visitor. Okay. So now we're going to do uh, the disk cleanup. Now there's multiple ways of doing that. Um, I'm going to pause this video because you don't even see right eight, seven, and eight. I'll just pause it and then show you the answers to them. But you'd go through it how you would do it, and then uh, okay. Well, here are the answers on screen. Uh, you can literally um, different operating systems will have slightly different answers, and um, whichever will work. If we're unsure of it in the marking panel, we'll discuss it and see if anybody's got that operating system and try out the methods that they used. Um, and figure out because there's tons of different ways to do this. Okay, that's section A. Done. And um, bye for now.